Hi guys, DeForte here. I wanted to do a little trick this morning and show how we can get into some special areas in Wizardry 6, Bane of the Cosmic Forge, that you're not allowed to get into normally. So I'm going to resume a game here that I've been playing for my Patreons. And you'll see that if you're familiar with this game at all, this is the main gate right here. And when you begin the game, it actually kicks you out into this main area right here. And there's no way to get through this gate. Well, there's no way to normally get through it. But using a hex editor, I'm going to show you how you can. So I saved the game in this position facing the gate. And then I also saved the game in this position right in front of it. And when I saved the game, I had made a copy so that I have two separate files. The file name is called savegame.dbs, as you can see right here. And there's also a copy that I made called gate.dbs. So they're, everything's exactly the same except the position is just barely different. So what I'm going to do now is flip back and forth between the two files so that you can see differences here. I had to find the position in the file where values change. And what you will see is in hex position 0xc286 right here is where you actually are. In the game where I'm one step away from the gate, it's 6 in the save game where I'm right next to the gate it's a 5 therefore that's the X position on the map or the Y depending on how you look at it so what we're going to do is I'm gonna decrease this to a 4 that should get us through the gate I save the game or save the file I should say we're gonna come back here and resume sure enough look at that and the quirky thing about this is the gate is then gone so the game engine recognizes that we were in there and it doesn't reclose the gate so I can walk back through it and it pushes me back out I'm not doing that I'm pushing forward and then I don't do anything and the game pushes me back out so now let's change the position even further and make it three and let's resume the game. So we're right here. Aha! So it says, hmm, the gate opens, it pushes me through. So that's kind of what happens when you begin the game. But once again, the gate is open. I can try to go back through and it pushes me back again. So now I haven't tried this one yet. Let's try position two and see what happens. Ah, look at that. So we're getting the message that you get when the game begins. And for some reason, that gate does close, but this one still isn't closed. But that's pretty cool that the, the game was actually able to handle it and not crash or get into some weird mode. I'm going to change it to a 1 now. And let's see what that happens. What happens when we do that? So now it looks even more normal. But once again, that gate is gone. So now the question is what happens if I put a zero in there? That's probably really going to confuse it. resume the game ah look at this so I'm in some weird space with no exit that's interesting so the game engine's able to handle it but <laughs> it's a solid wall and there's nothing to do I'm curious if, if I rest here if I can get encountered 
actually let me do it this way let's bump up the engine and just spin around real fast yeah so there's the random encounters do apply that's pretty funny but I'm stuck in this zone where I can't get out let's see if we change it to something crazy like sometimes this might be a negative one or it could be a 255 depending on if they used a signed or an unsigned bite there let's see what happens <laughs> we were stuck in a wall or something and then as soon as I moved it said we're dead so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and that it was a little fun to see messing around with a hex editor, the types of things you can get get done in certain games. See you next time.